Call me Hopkins. Jimmy Hopkins. Fight me, Dillweed. This guy fell on my head. I don't think I feel any worse than I do right now. Let a real man show you the ropes. That was easy. <laughs> there you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over the school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on, I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. This Jimmy. That cage wasn't locked before. Not here, follow me. Get in there! How can we get at the switch? Jimmy! Over here! Now here's another switch I used to... Whoa! Looks like I'll have to hold this down to get the power while you climb through and get the switch. Wonder why no one picked this up. Almost there! Huh, a steam leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. If you could lower the furnace temperature a bit, I bet the steam would stop. I'm just gonna collect this. If you could lower the furnace temperature a bit, I bet the steam would stop. Quick, before it heats up again. So, 
Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell. Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Thick skin, feet hard, a warrior poet. <laughs> Russell! now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, OK. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I've got more important things to worry about. 